Hello everyone and welcome to Got Next Gaming here on YouTube and we are bringing you another Baltimore Ravens Connect the Franchise here in Madden 16. We are probably going to be slowing this one down uh, for the spring and summer as we're getting into MLB The Show 16. But I do plan on continuing this series for as long as I can because it seems to be quite popular with you guys out there as you guys are enjoying it. I'm enjoying playing it as well. I uh, really like this, and I really like the way it turned out so far and how it's turning out um, with this fantasy draft as we've picked our players, and they're doing quite well uh, as we're getting to like the midpoint of the season. We are in Week 10 now and going into M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and we got to see what kind of team they bring to the table here in the fantasy draft world. It looks like that's... Uh, C.J. Anderson, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is their running back. And we could take a look at the uh, records here for the coach, John Harbaugh, for the Baltimore Ravens, and Gus Bradley for the Jaguars, who has a 10-29 record with a team that hasn't done so well, but he might have a better team here in the fantasy world. We don't know. So let's go ahead and jump into some game action here. It looks like the Jaguars get the ball first, and their quarterback is Ryan Fitzpatrick. My uh, buddy there from the New York Jets, my team, he is here in the fantasy world in on the on the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're going to get the ball first, and they got a first down here from the 22. They're going to hand off, and looks like C.J. Anderson doesn't get very far there with the ball. And let's take a look at the Jaguars lineup. We'll see their uh, line, and then take a look at their receivers and running back. Yep, is C.J. Anderson. They have Jermichael Finley as a uh, tight end. Pretty solid looking there as we can take a look and see. So next play from a second down and seven. Fitzpatrick does complete a pass to Johnson uh, for a first down. And nice pass there as he was under pressure. Second down and ten here. Play later. Hands off. But C.J. Anderson is stopped in the backfield. And there is a flag on the play. Hopefully this is not on the, the defense and it's on the offense for a holding. And no, it's going to be a face mask against the defense. And that will give them... An automatic first down, 15-yard penalty there against Bud Dupree as he stopped him in the backfield but does grab a hold of the face max in the process. So from the 48 here, Fitzpatrick's going to keep it on the option, but he is stopped right away and, uh, in fact, loses three yards on the play and uh, pushes him back to the 50-yard line. But a couple plays later, third down and seven. Are they going to be able to convert here? Does the defense stop him? The throw and the... Uh, Hand gets in there by Mathis as he bats the ball away and forces the fourth down and the punt. So now the Baltimore Ravens get the ball for the first time here in the game. And Jameis Winston, your quarterback, comes on out to lead this Baltimore offense that has been rolling pretty hot lately. He will hand off to Devonta Freeman to start things off, who cuts it back to the left into the middle and is able to pick up seven yards on his first carry from scrimmage. So second down and three here now from the 36. We'll hand off again to Devonta Freeman, who gets in behind Mangold and runs into the back of him, but does get the first down. First down and 10 from the 39. Winston dropping back, looking to throw. Throws deep to the left side, but it is batted away and almost picked off as the defender was in good position there. So we'll hand off, and Freeman will cut it back to the middle as there's no room to the right side, but it stopped pretty quickly on the play there. And let's take a look at the Jaguar defense now. Mario Williams is in there, and we got Kevin Burnett and Julius Peppers, Maude Brooks, uh, Prince of Mukamara. Malcolm Jenkins is probably their biggest player out there, but Drake or Patrick is not uh, a slouch either. So Winston from a third down and five here will look to throw to the outside and almost picked off again as the defender was in position. And Kirkpatrick bats it away for the second time in a row here, bringing up a fourth down and five. And now the Ravens are forced to punt the ball back. So Jacksonville takes over here on their 27. Here's a second down and eight. And the defense gets into the backfield on the run to the outside and stops them quickly, getting them a two-yard loss on the play there. Nice, nice job by the defense there, pushing them back. So third down and 12. Can they stop them here? Or does Jacksonville convert? They fake the handoff, throws to the right, to the left side. And there's nobody there as he overthrows his man. Looks like he was feeling the pressure. And that forces a fourth down and 12 for Jacksonville to punt the ball back to Baltimore. And we get to start off here on our own 20. Winston will drop back to throw. Throws over the middle. 
two, Blackman, who makes the catch and is quickly swarmed in on and brought down after a seven-yard gain on that one, bringing up a second down and three. Down to the 28 here, a play later with third down and two. Winston under center. We'll hand off to DeMarco because what would a Baltimore Raven game be without DeMarco going for a short yardage third down to get the first down for Baltimore here, getting down to the 32-yard line and uh, only 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Winston will throw, but that one is batted away on a third down and seven a few plays later, and that'll force Baltimore to punt the ball away here. But that's going to do it for the first quarter. There is no score so far as this has been a defensive battle back and forth. I don't even know if it's really defensive battle so much as the offenses are just not, not playing very well at all. Um, but maybe it is defense. We'll have to see as we go forward if this continues in this trend here. So... Jaguars with the ball on a third down and five. Fitzpatrick looking to throw. He hits his man in the hands, but the ball falls to the turf. Bringing up fourth down and five as they go three and out. And the Baltimore Ravens get the ball back again from their own 24. Throws to the outside. Hits Mike Wallace, who makes the catch as he's being hit. Gets the first down, moving the chains. We're going to have to chip away at the defense is the feeling that I get here. So Winston looking to throw deep down the field to Antonio Brown. But he is covered, and the ball just falls away. He is unable to make the catch in that situation there as he was way downfield as they took a shot to see if they can probably open this uh, defense up or uh, catch them by surprise. But they did not there on that play. So second down and 10, Winston looking to throw. Hits Jordan Cameron and gets the first down, but he is brought down right away as he's unable to get any yards after the catch. But it is a first down, moving him to the 46-yard line, and we'll take that. So second down and 8. Winston will hand off to Freeman, who is running up the middle there, but only picks up three yards on the play. Third down and five. Has seven carries for 23 yards. Not much doing in the running game. So third down and five. Can we convert? Throws over the middle, but no. The linebacker knocks it away as the pass was intended for Devonta Freeman cutting across the middle, and we're going to punt the ball again. Back to Jacksonville, who takes over on their 20. First down and 10. Fitzpatrick from the shotgun. What's he going to do here? He's looking to throw. Throws, hits his man, but the ball is dropped as he is hit by the cornerback, breaking up a second down and 10. The defense came to play today, even though the offenses did not. So Fitzpatrick throws again over the middle on a third down and six and hits Jermichael Finley for the first down, moving the chains, I think, for the first time for Baltimore on a 14-yard catch there. So first down and 10 from the 38. He'll hand off, but he is brought down right away, C.J. Anderson, by Mathis in the backfield for a loss there. His 500 career tackle as he has played very well for us so far this season being the force that we needed there in the linebacking core. So first down and 10 from the 48. Hand, uh, throw to Jermichael Finley completed and he fights his way to a first down down to the 42-yard line. And now Fitzpatrick will fake the handoff here on the first down and 10 and he has stopped in the backfield for a four-yard loss. Bud Dupree comes in there and makes a spectacular, spectacular tackle for a loss. So third down and 16 here brings up the third, uh, sec the two-minute warning as we are coming to the end of the second quarter here and the first half with no score so far in this game. Let's see what's going to happen here. So third down and 16. Can we stop them and force them to turn the ball back over to us as they hand off to C.J. Anderson on a kind of a give-up play there? as he only gets a few yards, about two, forcing that fourth down, and they definitely have to punt the ball back to us. So we can see so far what Baltimore has done here. Punt, 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 not much yards at all, not much going on offensively. So Jameis Winston will take the ball in the second down at five and throw it to the outside to Justin Blackman, makes the catch for the first down, getting down to the 39-yard line, 17 seconds left here. Winston looking to throw over the middle, hits Mike Wallace, on the catch there as he goes up into traffic, takes the hit, and is brought down. They'll call the timeout there with nine seconds left there, down to the 45-yard line. Have to get into field goal range at least. Winston looking to throw to the left side, and there's a flag on the play as the ball goes over the, the, the receiver. Looks like he was hit before the ball got there. And, yes, it's going to be pass interference on the defense, giving them a first down and pushing him all the way down to the 33-yard line. There's only five seconds left. We're not going to take the chance. We're going to go for the 50-yard field goal. Crosby puts it up, makes it through the uprights. That's three points on the board here before 
the end of the half as the Baltimore Ravens take the lead here, three to nothing, going into the locker room at halftime. Cannot believe it, as this has been quite, quite the defensive battle here going back and forth. I am just not sure what's going on here with these two teams. As you can see, the halftime stats and not much doing on either side of the ball. Baltimore does have the advantage here in yardage a little bit, but not much. As you can see, the running game pretty even there in yards, although Devonta Freeman has a little bit better yards per carry as he's carried it less. But do we give up on the run game? Nope, we're not going to give up on the run game. It's 3-0 game here. We're going to hand out to Devonta Freeman. He's going to try to break it to the outside. He does not get very far. Picks up only three yards on the play as the defense keys in on that run there. And we have a second down and seven from our own 23. Winston from the shotgun will look to throw down to the left side. Hits it. Antonio Brown in stride, who's able to cut it up field and get to the other side of the 50 on like a 33 or 34 yard pass play there. First down, bringing them all the way down into Jacksonville territory. So we're not going to give up on the run. We're going to hand off to DeFonta Freeman, who cuts it to the left and doesn't get very far on that one. About four yards on the play, bringing up a third down and four. And we're going to try to convert here with Winston on the shotgun. Throws his Antonio Brown on the curl in between like three defenders and he's brought down right away but does get the first down and move the chains and that's the important part there down to the 32 yard line second down and four here Winston dropping back the throw hits Jordan Cameron who makes the catch turns it up field gets the first down and is knocked out of bounds at the 14 yard line right there so we are down into the red zone area and Baltimore has got to score here no field goals can't be cheap hand off to Devonta Freeman who breaks one tackle slips past one but is brought down quickly by the next defender, picking up only two yards. So Winston drops back to throw, hits Antonio Brown in stride, who turns it up into the end zone, gets the touchdown, Baltimore Ravens. Antonio Brown with a much-needed touchdown on that one. That was a nice play there, as we've been seeing man-to-man -man coverage, and we took advantage of that, and Winston takes one for the team there, getting hit as he throws. Brown makes sure he holds onto that ball and turns it into the end zone. Gets the touchdown on a 13-yard pass play. We kick the extra point. 10-0 now in Baltimore's favor as Jacksonville takes over from their own 22. I'll hand off to C.J. Anderson, who's brought down right away. Does not get very far at all. Matter of fact, he loses a yard on the play. And we can see the offensive scoring so far. As we have the advantage in yards now and time, but still not great effort here at all. So third down and one as we try to stop them there. It'll hand off to C.J. Anderson. I over-pursued on the play. As you saw, I had the control of the linebacker there. Completely over-pursued the play and the run, and he gets the first down there, moving it down to the to the 38-yard line. So here's a second down and 10 to play later. Fitzpatrick from the shotgun will fake the handoff, look to throw down the field, hits his man who goes up for the ball as Hill tried to play the ball, and Beasley makes the catch, 27-yard catch, first down, moving it down to the 34-yard line on our side of the field. So handoff there, and he is brought down right away, C.J. Anderson, once again for a one-yard loss. And that's Bud Dupree there in on the play again, his fourth tackle of the game. Four third down and four, a couple plays later, 16 seconds left here in the third quarter. From the 28, Fitzpatrick drops back, looks to throw, hits his man on a one-handed grab, but he does not come down with the feet inbounds, and it'll bring up a fourth down and four as Hill had good coverage on him, but he still doesn't come down inbounds anyway with the catch so they will attempt the field goal here now from the 28 yard line looks to be about a 35 or 34 yarder is that correct somewhere around there or is that i'm sorry it's a 40 yarder and they will make it through the uprights but there's a flag on the play here what's this going to be called for personal foul roughing the kicker are you kidding me Roughing the kicker. We had the field goal. Just give up the field goal and that's it. We have to rough the kicker. Now they get a whole new set of downs. That'll bring up the end of the third quarter. They're down on our 11-yard line here on the third down and eight. Can we stop them before they get in to get the, the little uh, out pass to C.J. Anderson? But Will Hill is all over it. Stops him there. Doesn't gain anything on the play. Brings up the fourth down and 11. And the defense does its job and bears down and stops him to give him another chance at the field goal, only a little bit closer this time. And this time, there's no roughing the kicker. They do get the three points, but at least we didn't give up the touchdown in that situation where we could have. So, Baltimore gets the ball back, and we hand off to Devonta Freeman, not giving up on that run, and he breaks away from the diving tackle and gets all the way down into the end zone on the touchdown, 75 yards, 
Baltimore Ravens, Devonta Freeman, touchdown. We are going to catch the replay as that is worth another look. He runs it to the right side, cuts it back to the left right there, gets away from the defenders, then takes off down the field, makes another move to the right, gets away from the diving defender, and runs all the way down into the end zone as he gives a little uh, extra effort there getting into the end zone for the touchdown, and we do kick the extra point, making it 17-3 to now, as that is exactly what Baltimore needed on that a breakaway run as we wore the defense down with the run we just never gave up on it and it pays off so Fitzpatrick here gets the ball and he will lop it to the left side and is picked off by Johnson on that play and uh, we'll take a look at Devonta Freeman's numbers there quickly but Johnson coming up with a big play there on defense to give us the ball back in Jacksonville territory so we'll keep with that run and Devonta Freeman cuts it to the middle breaks a tackle and then is tripped up being brought down after an eight-yard carry, and that gives him a 1,000 yards for the season as he's been doing very well here in Week 10. He's already got a 1,000 yards on the season. So second down and two now from the 17, the Jacksonville 17, that is. We are in the I formation. Winston under center will hand off to Devonta Freeman, who gets just enough for the first down to move the chains there on that one, bringing it down to the eight-yard line now on a third down and four. Winston from the shotgun. He's looking to throw. Hits Jordan Cameron, but Jordan Cameron is brought down after picking up three and not quite getting the first down. Defense is in there and plays that one well, forcing the fourth down now. And do we go for it here, or do we just kick the field goal and take the points? We're going to kick the field goal, get the three points, and make it 20-3, to three. so that makes it a three-possession game for Baltimore. I mean for Jacksonville, sorry about that, with under four minutes left to play here in the game. So we will give it back to to Jacksonville as we see the replay on the field goal and Fitzpatrick will take over and he throws it over the middle right away hits his tight end Jermichael Finley for the first down moving the chains on that one nice uh, nice play on that one as he caught him in the seam and got it just in front of the defender there so Fitzpatrick on the second down and three drops back and throws but the linebacker reaches out and gets the ball as it was kind of thrown off of uh, from the from the receiver uh, led the receiver too much, and Anthony gets in there, picks it off for another interception. That's Fitzpatrick's second interception of the game, and the defense really stepping up here now. And this one, as you can see, was completely overthrown, but Anthony had himself in good position to make the grab and get the interception, and the Baltimore defense once again comes up for us here as they've been playing very, very well over the last several weeks for this team. So two-minute warning, two minutes left here in the game, and Baltimore has the ball here. As we come down to the end of things, the, the score is 20-3. to Rodgers checks into the game to take over for Devonta Freeman. As his day is over, he will carry the ball and get the first down, moving the chains and keeping it going so that they can continue to run the clock down. He gets six yards on the play there, getting that first down. And Rodgers again here from a second down and seven now with 45 seconds left. If he gets anywhere close to that first down, this should do it for the game as he gets the handoff. Runs it up the middle, doesn't quite get the first down, but that is going to do it as the game will come to an end right there with Baltimore taking this one, finally turning things around in the second half and able to crack through the defense as they warm down. 20 to 3 is your final score as we get another win over this Jacksonville Jaguars team that didn't have a great record coming in, uh, but they played a tough game uh, through, the, through the third quarter. Things didn't really start turning around until then. As Baltimore finally figured it out and made some adjustments to the game plan, we could see the stats there. Not fantastic stats. We got over 300 yards on the offensive side. We did have two takeaways, which is the big key on that one. We will take a look at some of the stats here for our guys. As you can see, Jameis Winston, 129 yards with a 61% completion ratio and one touchdown. So... Uh, Devonta Freeman, 18 carries for 138 yards, 7.6 average. He had that 75-yard touchdown run, which is the big one. Rodgers checking in for a few runs there to end things off. And we can see the passing game here, receiving 3 for 52, 3 for 24, 2 for 28, 2 for 20, 1 for 5. As we spread the ball around nicely, factoring in Antonio Brown for a touchdown as well uh, in the game. And helping out, but that's going to do it here this this week, folks. We're going to go into Week 11, going against the three and six Rams. Want well, to thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you around the channel, and goodbye now.